Hi, this is David from phonebuff.com and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to switch out your shutdown animation um, on your phone. So, in order to be able to do that, you are going to need to have Root Explorer and in order to be able to root, use Root Explorer, you're going to need to be rooted. So, make sure your phone's rooted and uh, download Root Explorer from the Android market if you haven't already. And uh, with that said, let's go into how to actually do it. So, you're going to open up Root Explorer you want to go to the uh, root folder of your phone so you can see uh, at the top bar there's a slash and nothing behind it that means you're at the root if there's something behind this slash it means you're in a folder you want to back out of it until you're at the uh, the very root of your phone so once you do that what you want to do is you want to go into uh, where you downloaded the shutdown animation so I put my shutdown anim animation on my SD card. So I'll go ahead and find that. Shut down animation. Here it is. Um, basically, the shutdown animation is just a bunch of pictures um, that the phone will automatically, you know, go through when it shuts down. So I'm just gonna select all. So I hit menu, multi select, and then select all. And I'm gonna hit copy. And um, from here, you want to go back to the root, like I was telling you guys earlier, and go to the system folder. So, system. And from the system folder, you want to find the media folder. And uh, it should look like this in the top. It should say system, slash, and then media. It might be uh, named something else depending on your phone, but um, it should be somewhat similar, if not the same. So, I'll go into video after I go into... The the uh, media folder and from here you see it's this says shut down click on that and um, this is my old shutdown animation it's actually the same one because it's the one I like I don't want to replace it but I'm just showing you guys how to do it so I'm just gonna hit select all so and then um, delete so it's gonna delete and now you want you want to hit paste and it's gonna paste the one that you're copying over from your SD card and um, that's it. It's as simple as that. You're just gonna need to probably do a quick reset on your phone in order for it will, or in order for it to actually work. But um, that's pretty much it. It's something really easy to do. All right. Uh, thank you for watching the video. This is David from PhoneBuff.com, and uh, don't forget to visit PhoneBuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos.